Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Malls Gadget Review Channel. I'm back, ready to review more products. This is one I'm excited about because I'm a big fan of cold brew coffee. This is the Coffee in a Dash by Dash. Uh, Dash is a popular brand. Check out my other videos if you want to see the reviews. But this is a rapid cold brew system. Uh, you can get it on Amazon right now for $69.50. It gets four out of five stars with 649 ratings right now. And let me just read you some of the features. Five minute coffee plus concentrate. No more waiting overnight for your cold brew to steep. Dash rapid cold brew system makes up to 42 ounces, 1.5 liters of your fix in just five minutes or make up to 16 servings of cold brew concentrate. So. Um, you can also use it for baking, cocktails, things like that, smoothies, just to pick up whenever you want it. And so if you're a fan of cold brew coffee, this may be the option for you. And I would say, you know, 60 bucks, pretty reasonable. Uh, I mean, it's a little high, but, but I would say, you know, if you get this at a restaurant, 60 bucks, you know, making it at home is going to be a lot more economical for you. Instant results, it says, brew smart and simple, a better tasting brew. All right, let's open it up, see what's inside. Uh, Dash, that's nice. Get this book. It says, why? Hello there. Look at that instruction book, that's insane. For a coffee maker. Cold brew. Rapid brew, all that kind of stuff. All right. The plug, which is always very important. All right. Ah, that kind of sucks. Plastic. I mean, maybe for durability, but you would think 70 bucks you get something, you know, glass. I would say there's just something about plastic that speaks of lower quality to me. And a lot of people like glass anyway, I would say. Especially someone that's brewing coffee. They don't want any flavors getting involved in a cup of coffee. So that's a little bit disappointing. All right, the base. So yeah, pretty, pretty uh, plasticky. I would say if they wanted to take this to the next level and for, as far as looks go, glass would have been the way to do it. I mean, it's all right, but just imagine if this was glass. I would say, I mean, think of a coffee pot. It's, I mean, I, I guess it's cold brew. You don't really need it, but whatever. Uh, I do like this button. You have the on off here, right, right there. You have the system. The filter. And yeah, this locks. Check that out. Just locks in place like so. All right, I'm excited to test this out. Let me get this plug going. Just get the plug in there. Gonna wash out everything before I start. All right, let me see what it looks like. Is there a light? Huh. There is no light. All right, so I'm gonna wash out everything. Uh, read the directions. Oh, it says zero. We have five. Oh, there you go. So the, the light's turned on. Okay. All right, so good good thing because you want to see. Um, it says don't lift the craft while the brewing lights on. Good to know. All right, so I'm gonna wash out everything, read the directions, and here we go. Start brewing the Seagull Coffee Organic Fair Trade Seagull Coffee at SeagullCoffee.com. All right, so here we go. Actually, I want you to hear this. Cold brew and a dash. There's so much we love about cold brew from the smooth flair flavor to lower pH. We could wax lyrical about this caffeinated nectar of productivity. One thing we don't didn't love though was the 12 ounce or 12 to 24 hour laborious process of making cold brew at home. We don't have the time or desire to plan 
our coffee 24 hours in advance, so we decided to use technology to find a better way. Enter the Dash Rapid Cold Brew System, a completely new way to make cold brew faster and easier than ever before. Whether you're making ready to drink cold brew or concentrate, our system makes it seamless. It's like coffee magic. Using the cold boil technology, the Dash Cold Brew Maker hands you a cup of fresh cold brew five to 15 minutes after pressing the power switch. Yep, because we want to have our cold brew and drink it too, but we also need to get to work. Five minutes, cold brew, 50 ounces. All right. I'm going to continue reading the directions. All right, so I read the directions, and actually there's a simple way of cleaning this. And if you bought just bought this and you need to know how to clean it quickly and easily, let me just tell you. So you put you fill the uh, craft up with cold, or not cold, but room temperature water, and run the machine for two minutes, discard the water, follow the instructions, and the keep it clean section for more. So, so I'm just going to run it for two minutes. Let's just set the timer here. There we go. Turn it on. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. There we go. Okay. I think that's uh, cleaning it. Hopefully it doesn't explode. So you'll need one to two cups of ground coffee, 50 ounces of cool room temperature water, ice cubes and glasses for serving, recommended enhancements, dairy or nut milk, vanilla, chocolate, maple, or simple syrup, cocoa powder, anything you need. Unscrew and remove the coffee container lid and remove the brew basket assembly. Turn the filter lid so pins release from the notches, which I already did. Add coffee grounds to the brew basket. All right, so you just add them to the brew basket. Once you open this, replace the filter lid on the brew basket, basket making sure the lid is locked in place. There will be a clicking sound. Secure the coffee container on the brew basket by matching the two circular columns on the underside, right there. Remove the craft lid and fill the craft with cool or room temperature water. Ensure the spout, and I'm just gonna probably use Brita, you know, it's cooling in the fridge, and that way I won't have to use ice cubes to cool it down and water down the coffee. Um, let's see here, or water down the coffee further, I should say. Ensure that the spout of the craft is closed for brewing. Um, So the Okay, so you lock it in place. Place the craft on the base, which it is, and then you have this little button here. And set the brewing time between five and fifteen minutes and press the power button. The white brewing light on the base will turn on the white LED timer and the control dial will illuminate. Warning, wait until the LED white light indicator is off before removing the craft. Removing craft early will cause the coffee to spray. So if you bought this, do not remove it until the light is off there. When the rapid cold brewing system is brewing, the control dial will be adjusted and increase or decrease the brewing time. The process is finished when the LED light, LED timer around the control dial shuts off. So if you're making ready to drink cold brew, you can have 42 ounces, seven servings of delicious, sweet, cold brew in as little as five minutes. For cold brew concentrate, you can max out up to words of 16 servings. Store your cold brew in the refrigerator for up to 10 days, it says, which is pretty incredible. Recommend, uh, yeah, so you recommend cleaning, just kind of rinse out, keep it running, things like that. All right. So now it's reversing. So I believe so the water was going from here into here. Now there was a little change and I believe it's going from this container where if it's not clean the coffee stored back into the craft. So when this happens, you should see, I mean when I do it with real coffee, you'll see this will be filling with coffee. All right, so there you go. As you can see, the craft is back and I'm just going to pour this out. All right, so we have this nice um Bali coffee right here from Seagull Coffee. And this is one half cup. All right. And yeah, I'm gonna have to get another package. 
So one more package to do, or just a little bit of another package to make a complete cup. So here we go. Get another package here. There we go. One cup of coffee ready for the cold brew system. All right. So yeah, you can put one to two cups of coffee. All right. And then, uh, yeah, put this back on here. Put this back in here. All right. And then uh, lock this into place. And I'm going to do it, um, make sure this is on, secure, everything's ready to go. And uh, I'm going to make do this 15 minutes. I want to make it as strong as I possibly can. Do it at the maximum amount. I think that will be the best test. And so here we go. Turn it on. Light is lit. You can hear it. The motor, everything's working. So here we go. We'll see what happens. All right, so it's been brewing for 15 minutes. And look at that. It's ready to go. So let's pour. All right, so how does it taste? That's the most important thing. How does it compare to cold brew that I've had at, you know, Starbucks or something like that? So here we go, or even in a can. So you can do whatever you want this, you know, add some ice, put some milk. I'm just gonna have it black. But here we go, three, two, one, taste test, the Dash cold brew system here. Yeah, it's good. It's really smooth. I'm getting a little bit of bite. There's a little bit of acidity, but overall very, very, very smooth. It's good. It doesn't taste like water or anything like that. It doesn't taste watered down. That was somewhat, that was one of my fears. It's, it's actually pretty good. So I think we have a winner here in the Dash system. Um, it's kind of nice to get this nice covered carafe. You can just stick it in the fridge when you're done. You don't have to drink it all at once, which is a little bit different than, um, you know, when you make coffee, hot coffee, because uh, you can't store it. I mean, you can, but um, you got you to gotta take it off the heat, cool it down. Um, this is way easier. So I could see, you know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe having uh, hot coffee in the morning, but you know, in the afternoon, if you want to pick me up, having this in the fridge, you know, maybe make this once a week and then having this in the fridge and you know, whenever you need it. So let's just for fun try it with a little bit of milk. I have some nice vanilla almond milk here. And just for fun, let's try this out. So here we go three, two, one. And yeah, tastes even better with flavoring. So it's good. I would recommend it. Recommend, it. let me just show you the box here once again. The Dash, let me show you that. So Dash Rapid Cold Brew System with cold boil technology, 1.5 liters, 50 ounces. And yeah, it worked really well. Pretty impressed with it. And thanks for watching everyone. Let me know what you think. Have you bought something like this? Would you buy something like this? Let me know. Leave in the comment section. And thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you later.